Welcome to the sports desk. I am Mike Milstein, and this is the last sports of the semester. We will start off with baseball, and it's not really baseball, but of course you've heard throughout the show about the whole Osama bin Laden being killed in Pakistan. It, affects, it was affected in the sports world as well. The Mets and Phillies were playing on Sunday Night Football, and around 10.30, ESPN was covering the game against the Mets and Phillies, and Dan Sherman interrupted the game to tell them about the news. And he, you know, the fans in the stadium didn't have to hear from Dan Sherman. They were looking at their PDAs, their phones, and any other mobile devices to tell them about the news. That is showing how technology is affecting the world, and particularly at sporting events. We stay local and start off with the SUNY Act Conference tournaments. SUNY Cortland is hosting of all four sports this weekend. Men's lacrosse started off with a win on Wednesday night at the Red Field in the stadium complex. They beat Brockport by the score of 13 to 5. Cortland held the Golden Eagles scoreless for over 33 minutes and 3 seconds. This win means they will host Potsdam on Saturday at 4 p.m. Women's lacrosse hosts a semifinals matchup against Geno at 1230 on the Red Field. They both met up in the last regular season matchup of the season. Cortland won 18 to 13. Freshman Ashley Cook led the way with six goals, two assists, totaling eight points. Both of these teams score in bunches, so we will see who will put up the most points at the end of the day. Softball has started playing their tournament on Thursday, May 5th. They won their first three games in comeback fashion with the score of four to three. Dylan Cross made it up for two hours in the first inning with a double in the seventh. She eventually came home on a sacrifice fly for the game winning run. The tournament continues until Saturday or if need be Sunday. Baseball is getting started on Friday, May 5th. They are looking to make their 19th straight NCAA tournament appearance. They look to be in, the, in good shape as they are 12th ranked in the D3 poll. If for more information for SUNYAC tournaments, go to CourtlandRedDragons.com and there will be a link for new stories and also radio broadcasts with Bobby Comstock and Cortland Internet Radio. Next, we go to the NFL draft, and we will go with first the number one pick was Cam Newton. It was reported before the draft, and then it was made official with number one pick with the Carolina Panthers. And then you go local with the Buffalo Bills with the third pick. They pick Marcus Darius. He is a defensive tackle from Auburn. He was a, a great pick for them. He's going to be a stopper in that defense for years to come. Next, we go to the New York Giants, and they pick Prince Akimara, the cornerback from Nebraska. He was a steal. He was supposed to go in the top 10. He dropped all the way to the number 19th pick. Next, we go to the New York Jets, and they pick Muhammad Wilkerson from Temple. He's also another defensive tackle, and the Jets do need a pass rush, and he will give it with big structure. Next, we go to the NBA playoffs, and we are ready into the second round. And you will have to go with the, the, the first matchup, the Lakers and the Mavericks. And that is just been handled by the Mavericks over the Lakers. The Lakers look like their streak of 3P is over. Um, Dirk Nowitzki has been a beast down low, and nobody has been able to guard him. And they took two wins at LA, and they head to Dallas with a 2-0 lead. Next, you go to the Bulls versus the Hawks. And now that is even in the series 1-1 after last night's win, after Derrick Rose was named MVP of the NBA, the youngest ever to win that award at 23 years old. Then you head to the other matchup, the Memphis Grizzlies versus Oklahoma City Thunder, and that is 1-1. Memphis Grizzlies not expected the eighth seed being the Spurs last week, the second team to ever do that in a seven game series, and they're powered by, of course, Zach Randolph and Marc Gasol. And then you head to the last matchup, and that is the Heat versus the Celtics. This is supposed to be the big matchup, but the Heat have really just taken com control of this series with their big three, of course, LeBron and Wade, and then Bosh is just an extra against a team that's getting older and getting injured at the worst time of the year. That is it for sports, but before we go, I want to thank everybody at C CSTV and CSTV News. It's been a great four years I have been here. I want to thank, of course, Doc Hollenbeck, Paul Vandeveer, Jim Forshee. Um, I wish good luck to Sean Toomey for years to come. He will be president next year. So I just, just want to say it's been a pleasure. And I also want to thank Sam Ficken, of course, a senior on the CSTV News, Kadar Clark, Zach Hover, 
of course, Mike Diamond and Christian Ruiz. So we will be it for the news. Everybody have a good summer, and we'll see you next fall on TSV Channel 20. Have a good day, everybody.